Snoopies who don't want the infused. What hash. the hell is in Moon Rock? Yeah, well, you know, we got some like seasoning in it. You know how you make, you know, your chicken and your steak. You got to season it, right? <laughs> so I, se- I got to season this thing. That's what we used right? to call cocaine, man. Put a little seasoning on the blunt with the yeah, weed. You know, that's, that's, you know you, it's similar. But it's not. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, you know. I, ain't I, ain't I, ain't I mean, I'm man. just saying. It's just like, it's like hip hop's legalized dope game. You know what I'm saying? Moon Rock is, you know, no cocaine, but it gets you high like you hit some cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Is it a sativa? It is a sativa. Oh, no, I can't do that. I make my anxiety go through the roof. Oh, but you see, we got the two. We got the, the Moon Rock that's a sativa <laughs> base, and we got the one that's a Kush base. And then we infuse it with hash oil. That's the infusion right there. Mm-hmm. So you ain't got to put hash in it if you like hash. And then we batter it up like chicken with the flour. We batter it up in keef. And that's what gives it its powdery glow. And then we, we tried it out with the community, and people just loved it. It sounds delicious. Yeah. The way you describe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. were, did, were, you the, were you the connection between Left Eye and um, Death Row? No, she did that on her own. Okay. But definitely Lisa was one of the connections to me going back to Death Row. Really? Yeah, definitely. You know, Lisa was over there and I had a nice good long talk with Suge. You know, I said, you know, you ready to change this game? You ready to do some some real music and all the rest of that? Because I'm gonna give up everything that's cracking over here to be an executive and to work on projects like Lisa, you know what I'm saying? And eventually maybe put out my, uh, my own record through here as well. Mm-hmm. He said he was in, so that's when I made that transition to go over there and work on Lisa's album and eventually mine's and Crooked Eye, Eastwood. So, yeah. Did um every everybody got a pox story? Oh yeah, oh everybody got a pox story. What's yours? <laughs> oh man, I have so many. Tell us a good one. I remember we haven't heard already. I remember when I first got when he first got home. Dad's called me, said pox home. And I was like, oh, he is. And this is what lets me know the influence of New York, New York. Because he came, I mean, when I went to the studio to see him, first thing he said when he saw me was corrupt. And he just said, New York, New York. Man, that saved my life in the joint. He said, that's all I would listen to was New York, New York. Forget these people. I was like, oh, man, okay, all right. So he said that was his inspiration, the fire. He was so mad, so mad. Then right after that, I told him, Pop, you know, you know, uh, I'm rolling with you. You know, treat me like I'm one of, one of your outlaws. You know what I'm saying? If there's any time you see me out of pocket, you know, let me know. Tap me on that shoulder. Tell me to chill. I listen to you like that. He said, I got you. And we go to Cabo, and... I was out of pocket, beating my Hennessy bottle on the table because it was the Danny Boy video shoot, I think it was. And we really didn't like that Danny Boy at that time. We was about Nate Dogg. Danny Boy was a singer. That's who's on I Ain't Mad At You. And he said, yeah, stop beating stop beating on the... He told me to stop hitting my Hennessy bottle on the chair. Mm-hmm. I'm like, who you talking to? You know what I'm saying? You new around here, man. Don't talk to me. Of course I was hammering. Mm-hmm. Oh man, he got so mad. I heard about that. But no, I'll take you upstairs right now, whoop your ass, and bring you back downstairs, and we smoke a blunt. <laughs> I said, Oh man, this, this boy's nuts. Nate come over. I don't know why people think people gonna fight and still be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and here come Daz. I'll fight you. I'll fight you now. Come on, come on, come on over here. Come on over here, cuz. Pac said, oh, man, I can't go nowhere without my outlaw. And he just stopped off. I said, oh, my God, I can't lie, though. My heart was really racing. Because he's a, you know, he's a wild cat. (laughs) (laughs) You didn't really want to fight (laughs) him. I mean, I don't really want to fight nobody. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to get down. You got to get down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he was, he's a wild cat. Y'all got cool after that, though. No, he died after that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He died after that. You know what I'm saying? So he died with the beef with the whole dog pound in. Him and Snoop still had him a and dog Snoop, issue. Him you? and Snoop. Snoop went to see him at the hospital when he was down. I think he was able to look at Snoop. Snoop was able to say something to him before he passed away. Um, 
But yeah, you know, right after Cabo came the New York trip. After the New York trip came Vegas. Let me go. Damn. Right. That's why you got to be careful, man. You never know what tomorrow can bring. People be here and then they be gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it'd it be the least expected person. You know what I'm saying? The one you don't, you least expect. As you can see nowadays, it's hitting so close to home, so close to home. I mean, y'all felt it when, when Pun was gone. Who would ever expect that? Mm -hmm. Pun just got started. Right. So who would ever expect that you know what I'm saying so you know you just gotta be careful and you know keep things solid as you can man cause this thing ain't forever right.